Hello. We just found a feather. I was standing here minding my own business and thinking what a lovely day it was and floated down out of the sky beside me. Might have belonged to a goose. Like the greedy goose that Farmer Giles bought in the market. This story begins one warm, sunny day. Higgity Haggerty and Black Cat were just going shopping. Now, you're sure you don't want to come, Broomstick? Higgity Haggerty asked. It's a pity to stay indoors on such a lovely day. No, thanks, really, said Broomstick. See you later, then, said Higgity Haggerty. Bye, called Broomstick. Higgity Haggerty was right. It was a lovely day. But if I go out, what shall I do? Broomstick asked himself. He flew into the kitchen and ran his eyes along the rows of Heggity Haggity's jars. There was a new label. Broomstick read, Magic Pumpkin Seeds. He lifted the jar down and looked at the contents. I wonder what they do. Broomstick shook the magic pumpkin seeds into a paper bag and put the empty jar back on the shelf. Who can I get to try one? Broomstick thought. Farmer Giles. I won't tell him they're magic. With a whoosh, Broomstick flew down the hill towards Farmer Giles's farm. He hovered above the farmyard. Farmer Giles was nowhere to be seen, but Abigail, his favourite black and white cow, was grazing peacefully in the field by the barn. I wonder if Abigail would like a magic pumpkin seed, thought Broomstick. He opened the paper bag and carefully shook three of the seeds into his hand. He landed in the field and looked at Abigail. Do you like pumpkin seeds, Abigail? Broomstick asked. His eyes glinted. I happen to have three pumpkin seeds here in my hand. You can have them if you like. Broomstick held out his hand. Abigail sniffed at the seeds. Oh, go on, try one, said Broomstick. But Abigail was not to be persuaded. Be all no fun, Abigail, he said, dropping the three seeds back into the paper bag. Broomstick flew into the farmyard where he could hear something honking. He found Farmer Giles carrying a large wooden crate to the farm pond. Whatever was honking inside the crate. What have you got there? asked Broomstick. Guess, said Farmer Giles. A cross hissing sound came from the crate. A snake? No, said Farmer Giles, but it's something I've always wanted and I've just picked this one up from market. Farmer Giles undid the front of the crate and opened the door. A very ruffled white bird waddled out. It's a goose, cried Broomstick. Isn't she a beauty, grinned Farmer Giles. She's called Eunice. Eunice Goose, said Broomstick, laughing. Welcome to the farm, Eunice, said Farmer Giles, tickling her under the chin. Eunice stood, sniffing the air. You coming in for a cup of tea, Broomstick, Farmer Giles asked. It's time for my elevenses. Yes, please, said Broomstick. He followed Farmer Giles. Eunice, still sniffing, followed Broomstick. Suddenly, Broomstick felt the paper bag tug from his hand. Before either Farmer Giles or Broomstick could stop her, Eunice dropped the bag on the ground and gobbled up all the magic pumpkin seeds. Oh dear, Broomstick, said Farmer Giles apologetically. She's eaten all your sweets. I'm sorry. Eunice hiccuped. Broomstick wondered what was going to happen. Eunice seemed fine apart from developing a bad attack of hiccups. Farmer Giles and Broomstick went into the farmhouse to make their elevenses. Eunice was still hiccuping noisily by the duck pond, and with each hiccup she was growing bigger. She had hiccuped herself to the size of Abigail, which for a goose was pretty big. She stopped hiccuping, and she stopped growing. She looked around. She was all alone. So feeling rather lonely, she waddled off to find a friend. When she saw Abigail in the next field, she wanted to be friends with her. Abigail stood slowly chewing. Eunice flapped her huge wings and flew over the hedge. Abigail stared at the enormous goose waddling towards her. Then she galloped as fast as her legs would carry her towards the gate. Eunice waddled after her. The gate was shut, but Abigail did not stop. She jumped it and galloped across the farmyard and into the farmhouse. She skidded to a halt in the kitchen, knocking over the elevenses, which smashed to the floor. She stood shuddering with fright. Abigail, said Farmer Giles, putting his arms round the scared cow's neck. Whatever has happened? They soon knew, because Eunice came waddling in. Abigail backed up against the dresser, sending the crockery flying. Great heavens, said Farmer Giles. Whatever has happened to Eunice? Broomstick knew at once. 
Get her out, Brumstick, before Abigail wrecks the place, cried Farmer Giles. Shoo, said Brumstick to Eunice, pulling his worst ugly face at her. Shoo! Eunice knew at once she was not wanted and went outside again. She waddled out of the farmyard and set off down the lane. Broomstick stayed in the kitchen to help Farmer Giles tidy up the mess. You know those sweets, he said. Well, they weren't sweets, they were all Heggity Haggity's magic pumpkin seeds. Oh, Broomstick, said Farmer Giles. Why didn't you tell me before, you little scallywag? Come on, we'd best be after that goose then. Eunice, meanwhile, had arrived on the village green. It looked deserted. The ducks on the village pond took one look at her and flew away squawking. She saw the village shop and waddled over to look in the window. There are all sorts of nice things to eat inside, like jam tarts and chocolate cakes, biscuits and bananas. I think I'll go in, she said to herself. Eunice leaned against the door and pushed. It burst open and she fell into the shop, knocking all the cornflake packets off the shelf. She blinked for a moment and then reached into the window with her long neck and gobbled up a packet of jam tarts. They went down very nicely, so she tucked into the chocolate cake next. At the far end of the shop, Mrs. Bates, the shopkeeper, Black Cat and Heggity Haggity stared at Eunice. Heggity Haggity was thinking hard. Suddenly, Mrs. Bates reached for a ping-pong bat and batted balls at Eunice. Get out, she screamed. Get out, you monster. All Eunice did was to open her mouth and catch the ping-pong balls. It was good fun. She swallowed them one after another. The only trouble was she started hiccuping, and as she hiccuped, she got bigger. Soon her neck was touching the ceiling. Haggity-haggity, do something, said Mrs. Bates. It's getting bigger. A shrinking recipe is what we need, said Haggity-haggity. I've got it. Shrink as shrink, as I think. Do it at once when I wink. Eunice stopped hiccuping at once and began to get smaller. Oh, thank goodness for that, said Mrs. Bates. She's getting smaller. What I should like to know, said Heggity Haggity, is how she got that big in the first place. She didn't have to wait long to find out, because the shop door burst open and Broomstick flew in, followed by Farmer Giles. It's all my fault, said Broomstick. She ate all your magic pumpkin seeds. I was trying them out. All of them, said Heggity Haggity, but I only got them yesterday. What a mess, said Farmer Giles. Everyone was so busy looking at the mess and being cross with Broomstick that no one, except Black Cat, noticed that Eunice Goose was getting smaller and smaller. Black Cat walked cautiously over to have a look. Eunice seemed stuck at about the size of a mouse. When she saw Black Cat coming over, she ran out of the shop in terror. Meow, said Black Cat, pointing. At first, no one knew what Black Cat was pointing at, until Farmer Giles realized it was Eunice. Everyone ran out of the shop after the goose. Which way did she go? asked Haggity Haggity. Black Cat pointed to the village green. Mrs. Bates fetched her butterfly net and they set off across the green, treading carefully and peering into the grass. Be very careful where you put your feet, warned Haggity Haggity. Hello, 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 said Constable Short, joining them. What's going on here then? We're looking for a goose, said Mrs. Bates with her eyes down. Constable Short spotted Eunice making a mad dash past him as fast as her little legs would carry her. He grabbed the butterfly net from Mrs. Bates and galloped after Eunice on his long policeman's legs. Leave her to me, he called, I'll catch her. Which he did with a flying rugby tackle, netting Eunice safely. Poor old Eunice, said Farmer Giles, carefully picking her up. What a day you've had. Leave it to me, said Haggity Haggity. This will do the trick. She dropped some sparkly red powder onto the tiny goose. There was a silver flash, and Eunice was back to her proper size. Seems like she's back to her old self, said Farmer Giles. I think I'll take her home. Heggity Haggity and Broomstick helped Mrs. Bates clear up the mess. Heggity Haggity got over her crossness about the pumpkin seeds and soon forgave Broomstick. Black Cat curled up on the counter for a snooze. And that's the end of the story. I think Eunice Goose is the greediest goose I've ever heard of. I'm going to keep my feather safe on the mantelpiece. You never know, it might be one of Eunice's. Until next time, goodbye. Mm -hmm.